tonight. The speed limit is a little slower in that construction zone on I-85. The decision comes as a direct result of that deadly pile up last Thursday. The State Department of Transportation is also working to remove the concrete barriers along the chute. 7 News' Henry Coburn joins us live to explain what comes next. Good evening, Henry. Hey, good evening. So yeah, the Department of Transportation is actively talking with the contractor to figure out how to remove the chutes. You can see them over my left shoulder on the right hand side of your screen. So since these chutes were put into place for this part of the I-85 widening project, there have been hundreds of crashes with injuries and six deaths on this portion of 85. Drivers tell me they hate driving this stretch of Interstate 85. It makes Donna Standoaks feel unsafe. If you have any issues, you're stuck. If anybody has any issue, anything behind it's because there's nowhere to go. It's not even a pull off. You two concrete barriers on both sides. That's it. And for Frederick Ellis, he avoids it altogether. You better believe it. 29. I'll go 29 if I got to go all the way around town and get get to 29. Whatever. I don't get on 85. According to Cherokee County Coroner Dennis Fowler, six people have died on this stretch of 85 since the concrete barriers were installed. I think it's a death trap. It is an absolute death trap of a concrete maze. Records show hundreds of crashes with injuries here in the past two years, and many, including Fowler, say the barriers are what makes it so dangerous. And I was telling people before they started with this, ain't going to be nothing but a killer. And so sure enough, that's what has happened. And I feel sorry for those people that got killed, but that, that don't make no sense, man. Currently, the DOT says a contractor will break down the chute in two phases, each up to 90 days long. The first phase will remove the concrete barriers between mile marker 81 and 86. The second phase will remove barriers from 86 to 91. Now, DOT tells me that they're still talking with the contractor to figure out how fast they can get those chutes removed. They say they should have an update for us by the middle of this week. In Spartanburg County, Henry Coburn, 7 News.